I just walked into the bathroom to put some makeup on for this video because I, I started to open the vlog and I saw myself in the viewfinder and I thought, ah, oh, I cannot do this video without putting any makeup on, but Lincoln just woke up from his nap. So away goes the makeup. Normally, Lincoln wakes up about the same time that the kids get home from school, which means I need to have a snack ready. What I've been trying to do is have them have just fruit. That way they're still hungry for dinner because I noticed when I was giving them more than just something simple when they got home from school, they weren't hungry for dinner. How come you woke up so early from your nap? Huh? This is one of the first times I've held you since my surgery and it doesn't feel very good. But it feels good to hold you. It feels good to hold you. Do you want to help me make a snack for the kids? Okay. Should we make a snack for the kids? If you guys are not aware of my surgery, I'll put a link for it in the description for you. Should we get a snack put together? Yeah. You took a good nap. It was a short one, but it was a good one. What do I got to do with this sticker? You gotta take it off. Why do I gotta take it off? Can you help me peel it off? But oh, yeah. It stays on me. It stays on you? Yeah. Kind of sticky? Do you want me to take it off? Yeah. Did Daddy peel you a hard boiled egg and that no. made you happy? No. He licked all the yellow out, which is so gross to me. <laughs> <gasps> you got it! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! You did it! Good job! See, now it's stuck to you. Now, I'm not going to cut a lot because the kids, unless it's a treat, they don't eat very much of it. So, we'll just cut a little bit oh. for everybody. I know you want to cut it a little bit. Why? Cut. Because why? Do you want to just bite on the core? Apple core, go no more. Who's your friend? <laughs> so this snack is super, super simple, but this is all they need to get them to dinner. We usually have a super early dinner, so they should be just fine with this snack. I clean up as I go. So this morning after breakfast and after lunch, I cleaned up my dishes. And so now I'm ready for the kids they're not coming home to dishes everywhere, a dirty cabinet. They're coming home to a fresh table. And after this, this isn't gonna be a big mess because I use paper towels, so that's pretty simple. And tonight, we're going to clean up after dinner. We'll show you. That way, in the morning, when we wake up, we're starting fresh. We're starting with a clean kitchen. We're not trying to either. <laughs> we're making all sorts of noises. That way we can start in the morning fresh. Oh, look at that little hand giving me little hugs. Giving me little hugs. Thank you so much. Do you know what I like you to do? I like you to... He's trying to tell you that the doctor gave... Then tell him. He's trying to tell you that the doctor gave him a sucker. Say, that's so cool, Lincoln. See, now he feels better. You just have to acknowledge what he's saying. Mom, 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 mom. Yes, so this is what I want you to do. This is what I have my kindergartner do. Put all your stuff back in your backpack and I will look through it, okay? Tonight? I'll look through it right now. Usually that's what I like to do is look through my kindergartner's backpack. The older kids can deal with themselves. We've been in school for a little while. You guys know what's the first thing you do when you get home from school. Take your shoes off, put your backpack in the closet, and I don't know what to say. And eat snacks. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, snack. but that's the first thing I make the kids do. And that way it just keeps my front door from getting piled up. And look, guess who's piling up my front door with shoes? Dad. Ruby gave me advice not to ask the kids about school right when they get home because they're usually way too tired. I can see it in your face. <laughs> I wanna go play. You wanna go play? At the man's house. The kids found a new swing in a friend's house and it's the coolest thing. How about I let you do that? Normally when the kids come home, they have a snack and I let them have TV time and just kinda like relax from the day. You can either have TV time or you can go over and play on the man swing. Man swing. First, Stay home. first if you gotta go potty. <laughs> 
do I do? Can you tell them what the rule is when you're done with your snack? Throw your napkin away and put this when you're done in the sink. Mm-hmm. What little turkey was sitting here that didn't do it? Lincoln. Lincoln. I want it. Woo-hoo! <laughs> I actually really, really like this time of day because the kids will get on the iPad and they'll play their math games or their reading games and they'll take turns doing that or they'll just watch TV. I don't mind if they sit down to watch a movie or do whatever. And during this time is usually when I'm trying to think of what we're going to be doing for dinner. We have this pot of soup that is leftovers. Um, it doesn't look <laughs> appetizing because all the oil has like come to the top. There's not quite enough for the whole family to have for dinner, um, but there's still plenty in here. So what I'm gonna do is probably add a, this is a ham and bean soup that I made. Um, I'm going to add some carrots to it and I'm going to add another can of beans. And no, mister, what do you have to do? Can, can you get in the fridge without asking? No. no, what do you have to do? I want to do Okay, what do you have to do? No. Do you have to ask mommy first? Yeah. Can you get in the fridge and eat what you want? No. No, you can't. So you have to say, Mom, can I please have a juice box? Mom, can I have a juice box? Yes, you can have a juice box, but you have to ask. <laughs> I need you to go down in the cold room and find me one can of white beans. Okay. Do you know where they're at? Yeah. If you found the right beans, I'm gonna be shocked. <gasps> Show the camera the beans you got. Oh my gosh. What did you even find them? It took Olivia three tries yesterday to find those. Do I get candy? Candy? No. To be honest. I know I cry a lot, but guess what? That's part of life, and I film my life, so. <laughs> to be honest, I've been waiting to <laughs> film the, uh, like, nighttime routine because I love my nighttime routine. I use, It's like some of our special moments that we have during our day with my kids. <laughs> and I've been very open and honest with you guys about, you know, the opioid epidemic and and all of that and and my doctor is starting to wean me off of some of my medication and it's just been really hard in the afternoons right now like my head hurts my back hurts my legs hurt my body just hurts and I know that it's not withdrawals it's just I I don't have the medication in my system and so my body hurts. <laughs> I'm not shaking, I'm not sweating, I'm not anything. It's just, it's just, I went through a major surgery and my body's just in pain and so I'm laying on the couch while the soup is cooking and I'm, my kids are being really good and they're just playing downstairs but this is just also part of evening routine. Sometimes you fall apart and sometimes you just have to lay on the couch and Joel's been gone doing a lot of other stuff and so anyway this is just part of my day too. Okay Cody come here honey. Is this the same soup as yesterday? It is the same soup as yesterday. Did you like it? Yes. Good. I like the hand. I said it was nap time. I made it so the whole family had just enough. You I pulled myself together. <laughs> I pulled myself together. Okay, scoot over. Scoot over, scoot over. Let's say prayer. Should we all say prayer? Yes. Yes, can I say it? Sure. Olivia, yeah. I want you to go get on the piano. Okay. Boston and Cody, come here. You go downstairs and brush your teeth. You go upstairs and brush your teeth. And the reason they have to be in two separate bathrooms is because they will fight. They will play and have fun and basically they just won't brush their teeth. So go brush your teeth, sit down, and I want you to finish your dinner. 
he just told me to go to bed. Anyway, <laughs> I never ever wait to do the dishes until the kids go to bed. I make them work while I work. Sometimes they're gonna come and they're gonna help me because when it's bedtime, he's even here. He's mocking me back there. He doesn't even know that I'm like in pain, I'm in a bad mood, I'm like not feeling well. Because when it's bedtime, it's bedtime and I want to be done when the kids are done, basically. Okay, both of you, go put your pajamas on. And then get your backpack and then come to mom. Okay. While Olivia finishes her piano, Cody, you're going to read to us. And it counts as reading homework for Boston if someone reads him a book. And you get to fill in one of your pumpkins if someone reads you a book. So you're going to watch Cody read. Is this a new book? Yeah. Out. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So read it again. Out. Mm -hmm. He set out on a trip. What does that mean? Cody or Boston, let's get you in your bed. Did you make your bed this morning? No. Yeah. You did? Where are things for me? Things. Please bless that my mom can feel better and please bless that my sore can go away. And please bless that dad's foot can feel better. And please bless that we can have a great time. He can go to sleep good. Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Boston, I don't know why that made me. <laughs> I love you. You go to sleep and you wait for Cody? Yeah. Okay. Good night, honey. Good night. Can you show him our door? Can I show him your door? Uh -huh. Check it out. These were the general conference pictures that were colored. That we printed. That, and Dad printed them. Put your books away. And then sometimes when I run out of time, guess who gets to get Lincoln ready for bed? Me. Who helps put you to bed? Yeah. Olivia's gonna get you ready for bed. And if you don't listen to Olivia, brush his teeth, get his jammies on, and then put him in his bed and you play with him until I'm done with Cody. These are also the paintings that the boys helped Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Good night, honey. Boston's trying to go to sleep. Cody has his light on, and you're gonna work on just a little bit of math, math homework, and then you're gonna go to sleep right after that, okay? Thank you for being such a good helper to me. Yeah. I love you, honey. Love you, Mom. Good night. Don't forget to say your prayers. I won't. Okay. And can you tell whose door this is? I love the unicorn, and that's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Olivia's room and yes, it needs a little TLC, but <laughs> She's gonna stay up and read and I want to show you guys these nightcaps um, They Yep, she's had that black one forever. It's got the pink lining I like this one a little better because you don't have to tie the bow tie It's just a scrunchie on the inside. It's silk so that your hair doesn't get frizzy or tangled while you sleep. Because they do suggest for your hair, it's good for your hair to have a silk pillowcase. But I don't like silk on my face. Is that weird? Like I would hate to have a silk pillowcase. So that is lined with a silk I lining. I like silk on my face. Whenever I'm in bed and I like stay up till like the middle of the night or I can't go to bed, then I'll just do this. Because I, the only thing that makes me go straight to bed will be like pitch black. Show me. So, so I'll go like this. If you guys want information from where I got this, because I'm sure you will, because they really are like lifesavers. I even have a matching one. I'll put the link in the description for you guys below. My work does not end here. So this morning before you even, before I started even vlogging, I spent several hours working with brands, doing my emails, and doing things for Bali, um, and what other things have we done? Oh, stuff for the cookbook. And so now, and you would think, oh, what with the cookbook? Sending out mass emails, letting people know that there's a slight delay due to the tsunamis that have been going on around the world. And so the cookbooks will be out, they should be out next week. 
So, cross your fingers. Are you done with the vlog? Joel just got home. Okay, he's done with the vlog, so now I proof the vlog, and then hopefully we'll be able to enjoy a night. Guys, I'm sorry I had a little breakdown in the middle of the day. I really am hurting. Like, I hurt, I don't feel good. I'm gonna say goodnight to you here. Love you guys, bye. Oh, if you wanna see our morning routine, click the link below. That will be our morning routine. I'm a lot chipper in that one. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Thank you.